Hi boys and girls, I have a little fun video to show you today and I'm going to show you how you can make some soup from at home. Now, when we were back in school, a lot of you noticed I had soup for lunch and you wanted to know what was in it and how I made it. So I'm going to go through some of the ingredients that I use in my soup and I'm going to show you how I make my soup at home. So here is some of my ingredients and I'm going to show you how you can make soup. Now, if you do want to try this at home, because you need to use a hot oven and a hot stove and knives to cut the vegetables, you need to make sure that you ask a parent to help you, okay? So I'm at home here and I'm in my kitchen and I'm going to show you the ingredients I use for my soup. Now, I like a really, really smooth soup, so there's a little trick that I use and I'm going to tell you what that is in a couple of minutes. But well, I just want you to look at my ingredients and see if you can name them all. So I have some onions, I have some carrots, I have a potato. And does anybody know what this vegetable here is? I've cut it up so you might not be able to tell, but this is called a butternut squash. It's a little bit like a pumpkin and it makes your soup really, really smooth. So what I do is cut all of my vegetables up and I use some herbs and spices. So I use some salt, garlic, parsley, pepper, and I like a little bit of a kick in my soup. So I put in some chili flakes and I use some vegetable stock cubes and a little bit of honey. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut up my butternut squash into chunks like this. And if you can see from my butternut squash, it has seeds in it like a pumpkin does. Can you remember back at Halloween and we scraped all the seeds out of the pumpkin and some of you tried them? So a butternut squash is the same type of vegetable, so it has seeds in it. So I need to scoop all of these out and then chop it up. Now, I'm going to cut the skin off the butternut squash very carefully. And if you have a compost bin at home, you can pop them into your compost bin and that helps the soil and the flowers grow. So I'm going to chop up all of my veg and I'm going to pop it into my tray. Okay, I have my butternut squash all chopped up and in my bacon tray. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a peeler and I'm going to peel my carrots and I'm going to cut them up in small pieces again and I'm going to put them in. So I can put the peels of the carrots into my compost bin as well. I have my carrots and my butternut squash in my baking tray and the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to peel my onions and I'm going to chop them up and put them in. Okay next I'm going to use just one potato and I need to wash my potato first so that I get all the dirt off it because potatoes grow in the ground and if you notice sometimes when you buy them in the shops, they still have a little bit of mud on them. So you need to make sure you wash them and wash all of the mud off. So you can see here, I have all of my vegetables chopped up. So I have onions, potatoes, butternut squash and some carrots. Now the next thing I do when I make my soup is I take some honey and I squirt just a little bit of honey all over my baking tray. And then I will get some pepper and I'll put some pepper on. And then I'll take my salt, I need to open it, and I put just a little bit of salt on them. Now, because I like my soup a little bit spicy, I'm going to take my chili flakes and I'm going to just sprinkle some chili flakes onto my vegetables. I'm going to cover them in tin foil. So 
So I'm going to cover them in tin foil and then I'm going to put them into my oven. I'm going to put it on 180 degrees. I'm going to pop it into my oven there for about 40 minutes or until my vegetables are really, really soft. Now, don't forget to check on them halfway through to make sure that they're not sticking to your baking tray. While my soup is in the oven, I can start to clean up my countertop, wash my dishes, and I'm going to put my compost out in my compost bin. So as you can see here, I have the skins of my onions, I have the peels of my carrots, and any kind of fruit and veg can go into your compost bin. And what happens is that in a couple of months, you can use your compost bin and you can put it into your soil and it really helps to grass grow and flowers and plants grow. Compost bin that I have outside my house and I pop the lid open and I put my compost bag in, just like that. Okay. My vegetables are done now. I just took them out of the oven and they are nice and soft. We can still see some steam coming out of the top of it because they're really hot, so I need to be careful. So I'm going to put the vegetables into this big pot here that I have. I have my kettle boiled here and I have two stock cubes out. So I'm going to put my stock cubes into a jug. And I'm going to take my kettle and I'm going to pour my water in now. You can pour as much or as little water as you want in. It depends on if you want thick soup or if you want it really, really smooth. So I'm going to stir my stock cubes around until they dissolve in the hot water. And when that's done, I'm going to pop them into my pot. Hmm. I'm going to leave this simmer for about 10 or 15 minutes until it's really soft and then I'll blend it. But before I blend it, I'm going to pop in some garlic granules. And I'm going to put some parsley in and I'm going to leave those to sit for about 10 minutes or so. So now I'm going to take my hand blender. This is called a hand blender and it has a little blade on the bottom of it that chops up all your veg. Now you might have a hand blender or you might have a different blender at home. What I do is turn it on And I pop it into my soup. 